News. I'm Dave Ellers with Gulfstream Distribution, and I've got my great friend Patrick Seville. You all know Patrick Seville, great inventor of the Seville lures, been around for a long time. He's got the, a band of anglers now with an umbrella of companies that he now is in charge of. One of those companies we want to talk about today are the Hyperlastic Dart Spins. Patrick, tell everybody just a little bit about how great these lures are and how successful mm -hmm. you can be out on the water. Oh, really, very successful. First, it's a very old invention. I created those guys around 92 or 95. Right. Back in the days when I was working for Metz and Mr. Twister as their designer, but the, the, the European boss at the time didn't want me to put a bait with soft plastic body and a blade, which was mixing two brands. So I've kept that for a long time, and you probably know about the stick shad. Well, there was the hard stick shad, and then I came with the hollow stick shad, which was allowing people to put a white gap hook and to put a chain of swivel inside and a blade on the tail. But people have to do it by themselves. I show that on some article and stuff like that, but it was not really popular. People didn't probably realize the benefit. And these look a lot like those famous stick shads we like to use. Oh, yeah, that's why it's fantastic for twitching. I mean, <laughs> really everything right. you want to do. And that's why I really want to come back with this thing with a soft body and a blade and because I'm a bit of a curious guy I like to to dig into many areas which are not related to fishing and I end up finding a material that I read from in a magazine that have absolutely nothing to do with fishing and when I read what ma that material was able to do and sure. to achieve I was like I have something here and it popped up in my mind that this design where I have together a soft plastic body and the blade was exactly perfect for that. One reason I'm saying that, if you had a regular soft plastic lure, and if you have just a screw in inside, will you be able to do, oh, grab the blade, yeah, grab the blade. Will you be able to do this? Well, probably not. And as you know, when you cast and you have a red drum, for example, who grabs the blade without grabbing the whole thing and putting, you don't lose it right away. So it's a long lasting soft plastic. The technology in this soft plastic bait with that spinner tail it is phenomenal. It really is going to hold up and it added a whole new dimension of soft, soft plastics. You see, we just show you by pulling on the blade itself, but let me show you that. One thing you want to show to your own customers, because here we have that patented design that's in, inside the tail to hold. You grab this with your finger like that, you, you turn one time around, and now you ask your customer to break it. I mean, come on, I have nothing here. I got nothing. <laughs> this is not going to break. That's really long lasting soft plastic. And that's why to me it's the right evolution. But it's not just to say it's last longer. The material itself have zero, zero pollutant inside. Right. All the soft plastic we use beside of this right now, well, when they are lost in the water, it's not just a lure in the water, it's a piece of plastic. Tell us a little bit about the type of species that you've been catching on this, and not only what, what type of species, but what area of fishing do you think this is really going to take off in? The reason why we've been already so successful, really all around the world, no kidding, not just in Florida, not just in the US, all around the world right now, is because these catch pretty much everything. Let me tell you this, when the blade twists and, and spins and works, because that soft plastic have a high level of nervosity, the whole body vibrates. Right. So it creates a, a volume of vibration in the water that attracts everything. We've been catching from half pound bass all the way to my knowledge, the biggest fish at this very moment caught and landed with that is 200 bluefin tunas. One of the stores we went to last week where we delivered these, this week while we were there, customer came in while I was in the store and said, you're not gonna believe I caught my record trout on this bait. Got it back in wasn't a tooth hole in the bait, he's able to use it, ready to go again. Exactly. So, speaking of species, really everything, because that material allows you to rig it almost on every hook you want. I was speaking of bluefin tuna, okay, not the most popular thing right here in Florida, right. but when the bluefin tuna are feeding on anchovies, you can use almost all the rules you want, and maybe you have a bite a day, because they're targeting small prey. Same thing with tarpon, I'm gonna go there in one second. So with this, you can simply have a very short, very strong, you know, like a six, six X single hook. You simply hook in the hole that's underneath the shin. You have a three, a three ounce weight or two ounce weight on top of it. So now it casts like a mile, like no other typical tuna in your sure. shin. And you have a small bait, a small profile. Tarpoon, let me tell you this. I live in Fort Pierce. So, you know, we are here in Florida, one of the best area where you can catch everything from giant snook, big red, tarpoon. Big tarpoon. With my friends, around a dozen of guys, since mid of September, when we started to get enough bait to really fish seriously, 
we are right now mid of April. No kidding. We've hooked around 450. 450 tarpoon on this guy. I've seen those pictures. They've been coming through on a band of anglers. So yes. if you're not if you're not following a band of anglers, you're missing some great photographs. Yeah, go on our, our on our web uh, Facebook page. Uh, that's Patrick Sabil, the band of angler. You will see a lot of picture and video. And we're coming with we're really literally now starting to create a bunch of video that will be both on uh, Ben of Angler's uh, Facebook page and the website that help you to understand the product, to show, to explain uh, to your customer, to the anglers. So from redfish, snook, largemouth bass, you can read all kind of ways because these lure have cuts in the back, slots in the hole, in the nose, everywhere. So it's very easy. You have the regular one. It, it comes in a bag of two, unrigged, only injected colors. And you have the pro model, the dart spin pro, which came with a wide gap hook. And let me show you this quickly. Thanks to the shape here, it's super easy to rig. Unrig and rig. Because we have a hole right here, we have the hole underneath the, um, the sheen and the hole in the nose. Look, with the wide gap hook it comes from, you don't even pinch the plastic, you go in the hole, you hold the bait like this, and now with the, the loop here, you go in the hole that's underneath the sheen. It's all been preform injected to fit the hook that you're gonna put into the bait already. No, no hassle whatsoever. And this way, you can really cast and fish open water as much as kind of you know grassy waters but look if you really fish in a heavy cover area you open the back and you push the hook point inside and you close and now you're really super weedless, weedless. so use that on a jig head this plastic longs last so much if you fish in the gulf and you want to fish down deep you know now the regulation obliges you to have a circle hook if you use baits Right. But if you use lures, you can put this guy on, say, an 8 ounce bucktail. It holds. Put a drop of super glue. You don't have to, but it holds better. Put a drop of super glue and no, now go catching those groupers, you know, snappers, whatever you want down deep. Really goes back to those cobia techniques we were telling you oh, last week yes. about adding those plastics to your jig heads. Definitely. That really adds a lot in the action and how it can catch fish. So the dart spin, 5.5 and inch, and some kind of news is four and a half and seven inch are coming for the I thought we were going to talk about that. Shoot. Well, Patrick Seville, thank you so much for coming today and talking about the hyperelastic dart spins. We really want to appreciate, we really appreciate your time oh, yes. and efforts here. And if you would, don't forget, somewhere within our video, each and every week, we hide our iconic Flare Hawk. Look for that logo and you can win great prizes from Gulfstream Lures.